Hello and welcome to the sixth video in this series uh, regarding the effects for the fifth edition rule set uh, within Fantasy Grounds. Um, in this video, we're going to talk about effect targeting. And uh, before we um, come to some kind of definition about what that means, uh, it's important just to reinforce uh, what we mean when we uh, talk about the target uh, of an effect. Uh, so let's say uh, open up Vary. We've got a power group here, and let's just create uh, a straightforward effect uh, which gives uh, some additional damage. Uh, now we've seen before that the targeting uh, box down here can take two values, either targets or self. And if we set that to self, it means that this effect is going to sit on the person uh, wh where this effect uh, is actually residing. So if we uh, close that and we get Barry onto the combat tracker, when we apply this effect, uh, it applies to Vary uh, because we set the target to self. If we change the targeting to targets, I delete that from here, and then if we move to Vary's turn, and then we set some targets for Vary, uh, let's set a couple of targets here, Orc 2 and Orc 1. If we now apply this effect, uh, you'll see that the effect applies to the targets that Vary had selected. Uh, so both uh, Orc 1 and Orc 2 now have the effect uh, damage 1d6. So this means that uh, when these uh, Orcs uh, take a turn, either one of them, um, if this one takes uh, some damage to Vary, you'll see that uh, it's getting the additional 1d6. And the same with this one here. Is getting the 1d6, um, but uh, orc number 3, um, uh, he doesn't get the additional d6 because he didn't have the effect on them. So it's important when you're creating effects that you need to consider uh, who the effect is actually going to be applied to and therefore whether or not the target needs to be uh, self or to targets. Uh, so let's um, tidy this up a bit and get rid of all these uh, effects that we've been uh, putting on. Uh, and we're going to uh, remove this effect altogether. And tidy this up too. Uh, okay, so uh, Vary is uh, a ranger. Uh, and one of the spells that a ranger has is the Hunter's Mark spell. And uh, if we have a look at the Hunter's Mark spell, uh, we see that she can choose a target that she can see, and until the spell ends, uh, she deals an extra 1d6 damage to the target whenever um, the target is hit with a weapon attack. So let's give Vary that spell. We can just drag and drop it into her action tab. And we see that Fantasy Grounds uh, has already created the effect for us. Um, now I'm going to just uh, change this effect slightly by uh, removing the expend uh, and making it never. Now you can see that this spell has been set up to uh, target self uh, and that there's going to be a damage uh, of 1d6. Uh, we don't need to worry too much about this C. We'll cover that in a, in a later video. And we can see that the duration uh, of the spell is an hour. And again, we'll cover timing uh, in a later video. So that's all well and good. The effect seems to have been applied properly. Uh, it uh, is giving extra 1d6 damage. And the target is self. Um, so if we put it round to uh, Vary's turn, uh, and let's say that Vary decides that she's going to place her Hunter's Mark on Orc 1. So she applies the effect, um, and uh, then she makes an attack uh, against Orc 1 and does some damage. And we can see that, quite correctly, she rolls an extra 1d6 from the effect. Uh, however, if Vary uh, does some damage to Orc 3, 
she also gets the 1d6 um, because this effect is simply sitting on Vary and is going to give her uh, 1d6 to any damage that she does to uh, any target. Now the Hunter's Mark specifically says that the damage should only be dealt to a specific target uh, chosen by the wielder of the spell. So we need to find some way to restrict this uh, damage only to that particular target. So let's uh, remove this uh, spell from Vary and we'll show you how we do this. Uh, the first thing we've got to do is to hold down the shift key uh, and then we drag the effect to the target. So let's say that Vary's decided that Orc 1 is going to receive her Hunter's Mark. Uh, so we hold down shift and we drop the uh, effect onto Orc 1. Now you can see here in the combat tracker that the uh, effect has changed and underneath here we've got a target ARC-1. Uh, if we close this we can see it even more clearly here. It says the effects target ARC-1 damage 1d6. So this means now that the extra damage uh, that Vary does um, following her hunter's mark will only be done to the target of her hunter's mark, in this case Orc 1. So if we test this out now, if we do some damage to Orc 1, uh, we see that she gets the extra uh, 1d6 for the effects. Uh, but if she chooses another target, let's say Orc 2, then she doesn't. So this is the way that we would make um, an effect uh, such as the one that you get from Hunter's Mark, uh, be specific to a certain target and not to just any target. And this is what we call effect targeting. Uh, now, we have to be careful when we are um, using effects to uh, uh, for an effect target, because not every effect can be effect targeted. Uh, if you have a look at the uh, wiki page, uh, you will see that in the notes column, certain of the uh, modifiers have got a T in brackets in the note space. Uh, these uh, indicate the uh, tags which can be used in effect targeting. So for example, we can uh, do effect targeting with damage and armor class but we can't do it for initiative rolls or heals or saving throws. So that's just something to bear in mind. If we scroll down, we can see various other ones, immune, resist, etc. So have a look at the wiki uh, so that you can note uh, which of the uh, tags you can use uh, for effect targeting. So this um, demonstration here uh, showed you the Hunter's Mark, but there are various other spells um, which also have a similar thing. I mean, if we check, for example, for the um, uh, Hex spell, uh, this does something quite similar. And if we, uh, I know that Vary's a ranger, but let's just give her the Hex spell. Uh, and this uh, pretty much does exactly the same thing as the Hunter's Mark. Uh, you place a curse on a creature that you can see, and until the spell ends you do an extra 1d6 necrotic damage to that creature. Um, so we would set this up in exactly the same way. We'll just amend it to take out the on next roll. Uh, it's correctly set to self as targets, and if Vary wanted to, let's say, um, effect orc 2, then we would hold down shift and uh, drop it uh, on the target. And we can see here that uh, it's telling us the target orc 2 and the damage 1d6. So let's just remove our uh, previous effect uh, so that it doesn't interfere with things. And if Vary now does some damage against orc 2, she gets the extra d6. Uh, but if she does it to orc 1, then she doesn't. So uh, that's effect targeting, that's how you would set it up, uh, hold down shift, drag and drop the effect onto the target. Um, now I'm going to now show you another way that you could uh, do a hunter's mark uh, effect. And uh, this actually harps back to the previous video. Um, so let's just um, get rid of a few things here. 
uh, and we'll get rid of all of these effects and we'll uh, give uh, our orcs uh, all of their wins back and just uh, uh, remove the targeting as well just so that everything is back to where we started. We'll remove that effect from that orc too. Um, right. Uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to uh, set up a hunter's mark in uh, a completely different way, um, but it works uh, just as well, and it uses the if target uh, special uh, tag. So in this instance, we've actually got to set up two effects, uh, and this will um, uh, bring us into another couple of things that you can do with uh, with effects. So we will add uh, our first effect. Um, so this is going to be a hunter's mark. So we're actually just going to call this a uh, hunter's mark, uh, and that's uh, all it's going to be. Um, we're just going to leave it uh, at that. Now that's not a keyword. Fantasy Grounds is going to completely ignore this effect uh, when it's put onto uh, any kind of character. It's not going to do anything with it. Uh, it doesn't uh, recognize it as a keyword. Um, so it's just going to sit there. In fact, all it is is really just a name um, which uh, is, is ignored completely. And we're going to leave this uh, at targets. Uh, we're going to close that. Um, and then we are going to create another effect using our if target. So we're going to start off with if target and then our colon. And then we're going to use a keyword which is undocumented on the wiki, um, but it uh, is very useful in these kinds of circumstances and for a range of other circumstances which you can set up. So this one is called custom. So it's a uh, just custom like that. And then uh, we need to open some brackets and then we can type into here Hunter's Mark. So what this is saying is that if the target um, has the condition or whatever uh, Hunter's Mark on it, then uh, do something. So we need to have uh, our semicolon, and then we need to tell it uh, that there's going to be an additional amount of damage. And obviously we've got to set this, the targeting here to self, because this uh, effect is going to sit on Vary, and is going to test uh, the targets that she uh, uh, causes damage to, to see whether or not they have the hunter's mark on them. And if they do, uh, is going to do a, an extra d6 of damage. So there's our two effects. Uh, we can close that. Um, and we need to place the first effect. So it's Varys' turn on the combat tracker and she selects Orc 1 as her target. So CTRL and clicking on Orc 1 and we now have Orc 1 targeted. And so now we can place our effect. We place the effect of Hunter's Mark. We can see that that is quite correctly uh, applied to her target, Orc 1. And then we set the second effect, and that has quite properly applied itself to Vary herself. So we've got the test now on Vary, uh, which is going to look for Hunter's Mark uh, on a target. So if Vary now does some damage, let's say to Orc 2, this test will fail because uh, we have looked at this, uh, Fantasy Range has looked at this, and the various target uh, of that damage doesn't have the Hunter's Mark uh, condition on it, and therefore the extra damage didn't fire. But if we now uh, make some damage against Orc 1, uh, we see that Barry gets the extra D6, because this statement here is now true. Uh, that the target, Varys target, does indeed have Hunter's Mark on it, and therefore uh, it's uh, going to cause an extra 1d6 damage to be applied to the target. So this is uh, a very useful uh, way to uh, make sure that the uh, damage, uh, in this case, is only caused to uh, a specific target. 
uh, we can of course change these effects so let's supposing we decided instead of hunter's mark this was hex so if we uh, remove that and let's say we put in hexed uh, obviously we leave the targets as it are and we adjust this one and take this into hexed uh, let's remove these previous and now if we apply uh, hexed uh, to Vary's target we can see the dark one is now hexed uh, we apply this one to Vary uh, correctly and now if, if Vary does some damage to arc one she gets the extra d6 but if she uh, does it to arc four uh, she doesn't get the extra d6 so the wording in here in these two effects has to be identical obviously uh, otherwise the test will fail um, so this uh, custom effect is quite useful for setting up your uh, own scenarios uh, for conditions uh, which might not be in the base game uh, so let's uh, for example uh, change this hex to let's say drunk uh, spell it correctly And uh, let's um, change this uh, in here to drunk. And let's just change the damage just so that you can see. Uh, and we'll give uh, an advantage to an attack wrong. We've spelled drunk wrong again. Um, let's just give advantage to attack rolls. Um, so let's uh, disappear these and apply our drunk and so arc one has now got the invented condition of drunk uh, applied to it and we've applied the effect which tests to see if uh, Vary's target is drunk um, so if uh, Vary were to attack uh, arc two uh, nothing happens we just make a normal roll uh, but if she is now to attack uh, Orc 1, she will get advantage on the attack roll because uh, Orc 1 is drunk. Um, so I think that's it for this video. That's effect targeting and um, uh, another way of using the uh, if target with a custom function uh, to achieve the uh, same purpose. So uh, thanks for watching and if you're still sticking around we'll see you in the next one.